Et hey, Dr. Fayam. Yes. Avant moi, Lini Algebra. Huh? Sure, no problem. Uh -huh. Come on, give me something to do. Huh? Come on. What? Oh, oh, uh, you're filming? Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So, before, in the previous video, I had told you for which values of h is a specific vector in the span. Now we want to do something harder, yet easier. So, paradoxical. Wow. <laughs> when is any vector in the span. In other words, in this case, when is the span of columns equal to the whole space? So the question is, do the columns of the matrix, I guess one minus one, zero, two, three, minus one, minus four, zero, zero, minus one, two, three, and three, one, minus eight, minus one. Do the columns of this matrix span the whole space? Oh man. I know, it sounds really hard. And there is actually a stupid way of doing it. The stupid way is taking a random vector in R4 and showing that AX equals to this vector has a solution. Yeah. Turns out there's a smarter way, and it depends on those pivots. That's why pivots are so important. By the way, what's that the definition way? Huh? What's that the definition way? The definition way, yeah. That was a stupid way, right? That's a stupid okay. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. the point is don't always use the definition, okay? okay Think okay. of a smarter way of okay, doing okay, okay, okay. And well, <laughs> Just like any question in linear algebra, you row reduce. Okay, <laughs> okay so okay, okay. <laughs> see, even though you haven't taken linear algebra for a long time, you can still do it. You can still row reduce. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, all right, so let's add this row to this row to get zero, and let's subtract the first row from the second row. So twice that. And then what you get is one, three, zero, three. And then let's see, so uh, 0, 2, minus 1, 4, and then 0, minus 4, 2, minus 8, and then 0, minus 6, 3, and then minus 7. Okay, good, and then we can continue, but notice this is nice simplification here. You can divide this row by minus 2. And we get 1, 3, 0, 3, and then 0, 2, minus 1, 4, and then 0, 2, interestingly, minus 1, 4, okay. and then 0, minus 6, 3, minus 7, and then there are a bunch of things you can do. You can subtract, of course, you can like erase this row, basically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can like add 3 times this row to this row. And then I believe what you get is 1, 3, 0, 3, 0, 2, minus 1, 4, and then 0, 0, 0, 0. And let's see, so 0, 0, 0. And uh, so 12 minus 7, which is 5. And then lastly, to really technically make it row echelon form you. Uh, swap those two rows and you get 1, 3, 0, 3, and then 0, 2, minus 1, 4, and then 0, 0, 0, 5, and 0, 0, 0, 0. So, this is in row echelon form. And careful, this is just a coefficient matrix, it's not the augmented matrix. So don't be already like, oh, it's inconsistent. Not quite, okay? Mm. It is true in the end, but be very careful. So the pivots are 1, 2, 5. And then notice, well, turns out this has to do with the fact if there's a pivot in every row or not. So notice there are only three pivots, but a 4 by 4 matrix. So we don't have a pivot in every row not a pivot in every row. And it turns out automatically from that you can conclude that the span is not R4. R4. And 
The reason is, basically, if there's not a pivot in every row, it means the last row has a bunch of zeros. And then, basically, you can just define B to be the following. 1, again, 1, 3, 0, 3, 2, minus 1, 4, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0. And you can just define B to be, let's say, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then already, this is not consistent. And if you basically work yourself backwards to the first thing, you can have a different B that, in this case, it's not in the span of those columns. So, one thing you have to remember, and that's what I call the row theorem, namely, the span of the columns of A, that's what's called the column space, equals to, so in this case, I think Rm, if and only if there are pivot, there's a pivot in every row. Every row. And that's the same thing also as saying Ax equals to B is consistent for every B. So in other words, to check that the span equals to the whole space, you just need to check that there's a pivot in every row. And I hope you agree that it's way easier than you know, showing that for every B, this system has a solution. So the point of this, pivots are important. In particular, if there's a pivot in every row, it means the span is the whole space. And you may ask, what if there's a pivot in every column? Well, that's for the next video Very to nice. be continued. Cool. Yeah. Right, thanks. Thanks. Huh?